pockets. All right, we're going to use this FET page uh, to learn specifically about Faraday's Law and how a generator works. Um, you should have already know about flux. So like if I was to move this over here like this, you could see what well, looks like there are one, two, three, four field lines going through this area right here. So that is telling you what the flux is. We'll just worry about the one. So that is telling you what the flux is. So flux would be like four. Um, but if I move this, if I leave it, if I move this towards it, you can see that I'm going to be changing the flux. And when I change the flux, okay, my I induce a voltage here, and you can see that, uh, which then induces a current, causing my light bulb to light up. So you'll notice if I go slow, I don't get a very big chain. I don't get a very big voltage. Versus if I go fast, okay, I get a much bigger voltage if you go fast. So the rate that the flux changes is going to be what determines the voltage and then in turn what determines the current. Um, you'll notice if I just take it and I just hold it steady inside, I don't get a change in flux. If I don't get a change in flux, I don't induce a voltage, I don't get a current. Um, that uh, I have to have that movement. The faster you move it, the more change you get. The other way you could think about this in terms of energy to get electrical energy out, you have to put energy in. Well, what is that energy you're putting in? That would be the energy of movement, kinetic energy, okay? Most generators, however, don't have a magnet and move it back and forth. Most generators, what they do is, it's more like this where it's like I'm spinning the magnet. In this case, I'm just rotating it back and forth, but that would be spinning it. Or if you were to rotate the coil, you could see how you could have a change in flux. The other thing just to note, okay, this one only has two loops. If I move it, see how much it changes. This one has four loops. If I move it, do you see how it changes a lot more? So that the number of loops in the equation sheet where it says negative change in flux over time, that's just for one loop. So if you wanted to figure out your EMF, your voltage across developed across this one, it would be times two loops. For this one, it would be times four loops. All right, I hope that helps. Bye, kids!